Trees are frequently cut to make room for human expansion. But what happens when they need to cut down a tree like this? A tree so large, cutting it down seems like an impossible task. Here are the top 15 largest trees ever cut down. Number 15, Giant Cedar, Canada. Giant cedars are a tree species that are native to the Pacific Northwest and are one of the most common species you'll see throughout Canada. The country's climate is perfect to encourage them to grow to unbelievable sizes. And while most of the largest are protected, there are some that need to be removed to help sustain the forest around them. This giant cedar has just about reached the end of its life, so to create space and prevent it from falling naturally and damaging others, the decision was taken to remove it. At more than 15 feet in diameter, this is no easy task, and the workers can't simply cut one slice through it and control its fall. Instead, they cut a large groove on one side, and this gives enough room to fit in the chainsaw to make a cut through the rest of the trunk. This specimen actually had a hollow trunk as the result of its old and decayed state, which made it much easier to cut through. When it finally came down, the tree was cut up into smaller sections to take away to process, and the stump was cleared so a new tree could be planted to grow in its place. Number 14, Douglas Fir, Oregon. Douglas firs are one of the largest evergreen tree species in the world, with some coastal specimens growing in excess of 300 feet. Those inland don't reach anywhere near this height, however, and in large forests of Oregon, away from the ocean, they typically grow to around 150 feet. Any that become larger than this can pose a risk to their surroundings, and the difficult decision is often made that they should be cut down. The amount of wood that's provided from this careful management also reduces the demand for others to be felled, so in effect helps to save many more trees too. In 2019, this 180-foot Douglas fir was cut down by the Southern Oregon Tree Service. To begin with, they used their chainsaws to cut out an angled wedge, which will determine the way that it falls. And then they make the final cut through the rest of the trunk. After a day's work, the tree falls with a massive splash into the nearby lake, and it can then be removed to be processed. Number 13, Giant Redwood, California. Giant redwoods are the largest trees in the world, and the best place to see them are the coastal forests of California. Individuals can grow for hundreds of years and can reach heights of more than 350 feet. There has been a long history of felling giant redwoods to provide the lumber for construction, but more recently the practice has become limited because of how long they take to replace. On occasions, though, the trees will die of natural causes or need to be removed for safety reasons, and this is what happened in 2002 with this old-growth redwood. Growing on private property, it already lost its top section in a storm, and a crew was called in to safely fell the rest. They made an undercut to gain access to the full trunk, and after six hours of work, it was on the ground. This was just the beginning of the job, though, because it then had to be cut into 20-foot logs, which themselves had to be quartered, and only then were they light enough to be carried away by a Boeing 234 Chinook helicopter. Number 12. Big Fir Tree Golf courses rely on their picturesque surroundings to create a serene environment to play the game, but this doesn't mean that the trees are allowed to grow wild. For safety concerns of the players and to aid the maintenance of the green, sometimes trees have to be removed. But this isn't simply a case of making a cut across the base of the trunk, because something tall and heavy falling onto the golf course could cause a huge amount of damage. This is what happened in 2016 when a company was called in to help with a 120-foot tall fir tree. To begin with, the worker climbed to the top and cut all of the branches away, and then started to remove the trunk in 10-foot segments. It's definitely slow progress, but is by far the safest way to remove a tree like this, both for the person actually doing the work and for those on the ground. Number 11. Cottonwood Trees Cottonwood trees are some of the largest hardwood trees that grow in America, and often reach heights in excess of 100 feet. While they're valued for their appearance, this is a species that's still regularly cut down for the wood, particularly those that have grown on the edge of a forest. It needs to be done very carefully, however, because if the tree was to fall into any of its neighbors, then it could inflict serious damage to them too. One of the best methods to do this safely is by using a jack rope and wedges, which allows you to carefully control precisely where it lands. The ropes are attached to nearby trees to support the trunk and prevent it from tipping over too early but also later on are used to exert pressure on the tree to ensure it goes in that direction. It's a tried and tested process that's been used for decades, and one that ensures no further destruction is caused beyond that of the actual tree that's being felled. Number 10. Large Cedar 
If you're lucky enough to own property with a lot of land, the chances are there'll be plenty of trees that have been there for much longer than you have. This can prove to be a real problem when you're trying to build any developments, and while you can quite often work around them, sometimes there's no choice but to remove the tree altogether. In 2017, this homeowner was faced with this when planning a new garden layout and needed to remove a stunning cedar tree with a trunk that was at least five feet in diameter. To grow to this size, it would have been several hundred years old, but in just 20 minutes, that had come to an end. It did, however, already show signs of rotting roots and was likely about to suffer from the spread of disease. So that's as good a time as any to clear it out of the way to allow other things to grow. Armed with a McCullough Super Pro 81, after being unsuccessful with an ax, he cut a wedge to begin to control the way the tree falls and then completes the cut across. Number nine, huge redwood, New Zealand. With its temperate climate and regular rain, New Zealand almost seems as if it was specifically designed for large trees to grow. Giant redwoods are a common sight, but they can often provide a dangerous safety hazard. In 2016, residents noticed that a huge tree along their street was beginning to waver in the wind, and upon closer inspection, it was discovered that the roots had begun to lose their hold. All it would take would be a strong storm to pass over, and this tree would have almost certainly fallen over in an uncontrollable way. So the decision was made to remove it piece by piece. They attached a crane to each segment before cutting through the trunk below, which meant that as soon as it was free, the crane could carefully lower the heavy wood without risking any damage. During the process, they found that the 145-year-old tree was actually rotting from the inside too, which means it was far more precarious than they had even thought. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number eight, Mountain Ash. Alfred Nicholas Gardens is a beautiful botanical garden in Melbourne, Australia, where they have specimens on display from around the world. One of the most spectacular parts of the venue was a large rock water feature by the entrance that was overlooked by a huge mountain ash tree. But once the tree had died, it began to shed its branches, and this was becoming increasingly dangerous for visitors. It was therefore scheduled for removal, and an expert crew was called in to handle the work. They began removing what was left of the unbelievably thick branches, and then were able to tackle the main trunk itself. Due to the other valuable trees nearby, it was important this was done without risking any damage to anything else, so this tree was taken down in stages, with each segment being carefully controlled as it fell to the ground. Once finished, they were then left with the awesome job of putting all the wood through the chipper so it could be used to cover pathways throughout the gardens. Number seven, Sugar Pine, California. Native to the Pacific coast of America, the sugar pine is the tallest of all the species of pine tree. They usually grow to around 200 feet, but some specimens can be far more than that. But what's particularly unusual is the speed at which they can attain some heights, often in half the time of the next fastest grower. This 195-foot tall sugar pine in Strawberry Valley, California, is only thought to have been just over 100 years old by the time it was decided that it needed to be cut down. With so much weight, it's something only experienced people should do, because if you make one wrong move, it could spell disaster. He cuts a wedge to guide the fall, and then makes a slice through the rest of the trunk, apart from a small section in the center. At this stage, the weight of the tree means that it still firmly stands tall, and he needs to hammer wedges into the other side to force it to topple over. This is truly backbreaking work, but after several hits, he hears the tree begin to crack, and runs to safety just before it goes. Number six, Welsh Giant Redwood. When you think of giant redwoods, you may not immediately think of the country of Wales, but after being introduced there a few hundred years ago, they've proven to be able to grow quite well. Many of them are protected and highly prized, but in 2018, one of them was controversially cut down. The 90-foot tall tree, which had been planted in Swansea in 1842 by a botanist who imported seeds from around the world, was one of the first to have been grown in the whole of the UK and had become a local celebrity in its own right. It was much larger than other trees in the area, but the people behind a new housing development decided it was in the way and needed to go, along with 69 others. The problem was they didn't have any permission to do this and were quite aware that it was illegal. Still, they went ahead with it though. But the following year, despite claiming it was done accidentally, the company responsible for the act was fined the equivalent of around a half a million dollars. Number five, Cornell Creek Giant. The largest tree in the world today is a giant sequoia in California called General Sherman, which has an estimated volume of around 52,500 cubic feet. This doesn't mean, however, that it's the biggest to have ever lived. And in the 19th and 20th centuries, a number of contenders to the crown were cut down for their timber. 
The one that's thought to have been the biggest of them all was the Cronell Creek Giant, which is believed to have been 17% larger than General Sherman and is the largest known tree to have ever existed for which there is photographic evidence. It absolutely dwarfs anyone seen standing next to it, which makes it all the more of a shame that it was cut down in 1911. The reason for felling it was to simply provide wood to a nearby manufacturing plant, but at the time it's unlikely the workers would have had any idea quite how special this tree actually was. Number 4. Prometheus While it wasn't the largest tree to have ever grown, Prometheus was definitely the oldest known tree on the planet, but in the 1960s a researcher was conducting tests on it, which resulted in it being cut down. It was a Great Basin bristlecone pine that was growing amongst other pine trees in Wheeler Park in Nevada. The researcher, who was a graduate student, had been given permission to take samples from all of the trees, but things didn't go exactly to plan. While trying to remove part of the trunk of Prometheus, his borer got stuck in the wood. Instead of leaving it there, he decided to cut down the rest of the tree to retrieve it, and it was only then that he realized his big mistake. As it toppled over, he saw the huge number of rings on the stump and realized that he had cut down a tree that was older than any other a person had felled. It appeared to be around 5,000 years old and predating the known civilizations in the region at the time, and from all accounts, it was still perfectly healthy and was still growing, which means it was ever more tragic that it met such an anticlimactic end. Number 3. The General Noble The General Noble tree is regarded as the largest tree to have ever been cut down. It was a giant sequoia that, according to reports from the time, had a ground perimeter of 95 feet and a height of 300 feet and a diameter of 26 feet. And while many trees like it have been protected for a long time, it was chopped down in 1892. No images exist of the tree before it was felled, and controversially, rather than being cut down for its wood, this tree was used to create an exhibition for the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition that was held in Chicago. A 30-foot section of the trunk was installed in the government building which contained a spiral staircase to reach the second floor where visitors could see a cross-section that allowed them to touch hundreds of concentric rings from centuries of growth. It proved to be such a popular exhibit that following the exposition, instead of being disposed of, it was relocated to a position on the National Mall in front of the Smithsonian. And it was fitted with windows and a roof before being used as a tool shed. Vines began to grow around it, and the wood began to decompose, and it was finally removed in 1932. Number 2. The Lindsay Creek Tree The Lindsay Creek Tree was a coast redwood growing in Fieldbrook, California, and is generally regarded as the largest single-stem organism that has ever existed in history. On the banks of Lindsay Creek, which feeds into Mad River, it was said to be 390 feet tall, had a trunk diameter of 102 feet, and had a total estimated volume of 90,000 cubic feet. Loggers visited the site several times in the early 1900s with plans to cut it down but they decided that it was simply too big for them to be able to successfully do so. They made some test cuts in the trunk, which weakened its structural integrity, and in 1905, nature finally did the job for them and knocked it over during a powerful storm. Loggers were quick on the site when they heard about this to harvest the wood and retrieve material that weighed in excess of 7.26 million pounds. This means the tree was over twice the size of the world's current biggest tree, General Sherman, and the equivalent of the volume of two and a half 747 aircraft. Number 1. The Mammoth Tree Nowadays, giant trees are regarded with respect. After all, to get to this size, they've been growing for hundreds and hundreds of years. This wasn't always the case, however, and they were only seen as a natural resource until a controversial event took place in 1853, which is credited with sparking the conservation movement. On June 27 that year, gold prospectors felled a 300-foot-tall giant sequoia that was at least 1,200 years old after three weeks of cutting through its trunk. This wasn't to provide resources, though, and the only reason they began to cut it down was because of a bet. So the story goes, the men were playing a game of poker one night and were discussing the massive trees that had recently been discovered in the region. The debate began about whether any of them were big enough to be able to carve a cross-section that could be formed into a table with enough space for 30 people to sit around it. They set to work to find a potential candidate and found one that's become known as the Mammoth. And after chopping it down, they found it was more than big enough. As well as the table, a section of bark was sent to Broadway and had a piano placed inside it to entertain spectators, and another was sent to San Francisco. The stumps, which can still be seen today, became a tourist attraction in its own right. A hotel was built nearby and regular tea dances were held on it. And at one point, there was even a bowling alley on the tree's remains. 
Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.